Welcome back, everybody. This is Eric and Chad here with Iraq Veteran 8888. Okay, if you're anything like the rest of us, you've had a real hard time finding ammunition to train with. Ammo prices have been absolutely ridiculous. So we thought we'd show off something really cool that we think would help a lot of you when it comes to being able to get some uh, practice with your pistol uh, for a lot less money. And it's the Cool Fire Trainer. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with them or if you've seen them before, um, but it is a CO2 powered uh, barrel assembly that you can drop into your specific model of handgun. Um, this one is set up for a Glock 19. Uh, you got a Glock 19 handy? Why, yes, I do. Oh, it's like we just happen to have a Glock 19 handy. I just, I carry this all the time. All right, so go ahead and pull your gun apart. Okay. And you got your mags, uh, right? I'm gonna to... go ahead and install it, it's really easy. Uh, I don't remember how to get this apart. You got an instruction manual? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure you can figure it out. Bye. All right. All right. So we take the slide, pull you the guide rod out. Okay. Guide rod. And now, I haven't, I haven't messed with this. Eric's been playing around with this. So. All right. Put your barrel in there. This is the Cool Fire Trainer barrel, and you have to use their guide, guide rod assembly. Okay. And make sure it's not installed backwards. Pop that in there. Uh. Okay. You got it. Got it. Okay. All right. And then for your magazines, there's these little follower tabs here that you can put into your mags. It kind of loads into the top like a like a bullet essentially. And this makes your this overrides the slide stop or you know basically the last round hold open on your magazine. So now you, you have a spare magazine. Why yes I do. Wow he's prepared. Oddly enough. Okay we put that on top. So now you can actually drop your magazines in there, and you know do your thing. That's a 17. Magazine. Well you know anyway. why not why not carry more okay. rounds in your pocket. So to charge it real easy. So now we've got the cool fire trainer in there. This is the cool fire and not a live barrel. <laughs> uh, you take your CO2. Uh, this is a much larger <laughs> CO2 canister than the one that ships with it. It comes with one of these little guys, but you can call up Drink Mate and order these huge ones here. Um, basically just take it and you got the little charging dongle there on the end. Just pop her in there. You're gonna hear it uh, kind of pressurize. Couple of seconds, let go. All right, you hear a little bit of a pop, that's normal. Now the cool fire is set up and ready to use and you can use your magazines. So at this point, if you want to run a shot timer or if you just want to practice your draw, um, Chad's got his holster on so maybe we can do that. I've got a couple of dots here in front of us. The cool thing about this, no pun intended, you can <laughs> shoot it anywhere. Uh, it's perfectly safe, it's not overly noisy, but what the cool fire does is when you present the pistol and you squeeze the trigger, let's go ahead and put the mag in there okay so when you present and squeeze you actually get a recoil impulse and it resets a trigger for you so you don't have to reach up like you would in dry fire practice hmm. okay so we'll go ahead and play with this a bit you can change mags All right, at some point it's gonna to start to lose gas. No big deal. Go ahead and just finish it off. Okay, recharge it. Hmm. Now the big question is, are we contributing to global warming? Hmm. Okay, very cool. Try it out. All right, let's see. Why don't you try drawing it? Here, let's see that. Magazine. Hmm? Now, look, this might be a little embarrassing. I haven't practiced in quite some time. I've been well behind the curve. Well, this is nice, though, because it doesn't make a ton of noise. I mean, mm -hmm. your baby could be asleep in the other room, and, and they would have no idea. that It's not loud or anything. Mm -hmm. just gives you a bit of a recoil impulse. Mm -hmm. So give it a try. Okay. Oh, well, it might help if it was loaded. You don't want to carry an unloaded gun. Let's see. Draw. Meow. And then Neomag. Yep. Uh, you got a charged pistol. No, no. Oh, you have a round. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so you can certainly work on your gun handling, your presentation, huh. your drawing. Uh, you can use a shot timer, and it should pick up really good for your shot splits and things. So you can work on your splits. Um, if let's say that you installed a new trigger in your uh, favorite pistol or something you want to really experiment and try to dial it in uh, You can certainly do that without having to expend live ammunition one of these big bottles like this will last a Very long time uh, this large bottle was $30 
And I would imagine that's uh, certainly enough CO2 to last a very, very long time. I mean, like if any of you guys have ever played paintball and you have like the giant CO2 canisters, dude, that I mean that would last like literally a lifetime, maybe two lifetimes. There you go. This is so cool. Yeah, give it a try. Keep shooting it. Keep shooting it. Yep. Man, I don't want to. I don't want to wear out my Glock, man. Wear out all the parts in here shooting so much. I mean, it's. Would you say the impulse is realistic? To a real gun? Early on, yes. But as you get into it, it, it does start to lose a little ump. It's still great trigger practice though. Yeah, so it just kind of runs runs low. It runs low. So one thing I want to mention too is you do not want to attempt to disassemble your pistol mm. while there's fuel uh, in it because yep. in order to disassemble the block you do have to squeeze the trigger Yep. so you don't want to squeeze the trigger and then have fuel in there so just shoot it till it's empty hmm. to disassemble it and swap it back out no big deal i mean about what 15 to 20 shots depending on the fill yeah I now mean, um like a whole uh, a mag you know a mag or so and then yeah. just top it back off yeah i mean it seemed i mean that was a, a 17 round mag very cool yep so this allows you to practice your magazine changes. Um, you can practice your draw. You can configure different triggers in your gun if you want. So you can play around with aftermarket triggers and really assess uh, that sort of thing. This is great for a trainer. Say that somebody is scared of a gun, right? Maybe they're getting used to shooting or maybe they're wanting to learn, but they're just scared to death. This is a great way that an instructor can go, all right, let's work on the fundamentals with this before we even launch a single round of uh, real ammunition. And this is a great way to kind of get somebody to understand what the recoil impulse is going to feel like before they even shoot a real gun. So that's one benefit as well. And not to mention the financial end of things where, you know, this kit is very reasonably priced and you can get a lot of trigger time without having to expend real ammunition. And there's also a situation, let's say, where maybe you don't live in a location where you can go to the range all the time. Maybe you have a bunch of ammo and maybe you just don't get to shoot that often. So this is a great way to still get that trigger practice, work on those fundamentals. You can still do, well, you can't do dime drills uh, because the slide reciprocates, but you can certainly have, you know, get a few of your buddies together and y'all can just sit around and practice and watch each other and train each other a little bit and kind of really pay close attention to what each other's doing when you're watching, you know, your, your friends shoot a Glock or whatever type of gun. And they are available for a wide variety of different models. I saw some for MMPs, uh, for VP9s. This one's obviously set up for Glock 19. But really cool. And One this thing. is great for experimenting with different sights, too, well, if you what, change out your sights. So everything. not only sights, but I was thinking, like, triggers. Hmm? Yeah, that recoil impulse does start hmm. to wear down a little bit throughout the, the throw. So, like, I could see, um, I mean, the the ramifications for... A normal gun owner at home being able to train like this is pretty freaking awesome. But I could see uh, implications for this system being used in gun shops as well. I mean, like, what better way to demo a trigger, you know, or a gunsmith to be able to, like, maybe test a trigger upgrade or whatever the case might be. Hey, that's my dot. Thank you cool. very much. But yeah, like, all right, so like Ray wants to demo a trigger for a customer, whatever the case is. They want something different for their Glock or their M&P or whatever. Okay, you swap the parts out, and then you can get a more realistic feel of how the gun actually feels, the reset and everything, without having to, you know, rack the slide and reset the trigger and everything like that. Very cool. Mm -hmm. And like, I'm kind of the guinea pig today. I haven't really yeah. messed with this. So. I agree, you know, from, from a standpoint of an FFL or a gun store or something, and you want to be able to have your customers try out a trigger right there in the store. Uh, I didn't consider that uh, that end of things. That's great. Now, that recoil impulse, like with it freshly charged, is is more close it's to It's very home. realistic. Yeah, starting to weaken just yep. a bit there. I think... The recoil impulse is important, and you are going to get that aspect of it as well, but I think one of the primary functions is that it resets the trigger, and 
even though the recoil impulse does start to kind of get a little weaker as it begins to get emptied out, you still get to reset the trigger, so you still get those trigger presses. So if you're really trying to work on your trigger control or your presentation, um, it's certainly going to, uh, you know, accommodate you there in that uh, aspect. Now, is there any maintenance for this thing? There, there are seals that do wear out just like any other type of air device. Um, it comes with like a, a little pack with some extra seals and some lubricant. Uh, there is a grease that you have to grease it up every now and then, but you know, uh, so this, this rod here reciprocates through the rear of the barrel. If I grab it and kind of squeeze it and pull it, you can see, especially now that's not charged, hmm. it, re it pushes rearward and kind of actuates against the slide oh. and pushes it back. Okay. Yeah, but there are seals that do wear out. I mean, of course, they they look like they're pretty commonly available. So it's just acting um, like a little piston, and it's just literally physically pushing the slide to the rear each time. That is correct. That is so cool. That is correct. Cool now, they, they are proprietary to each gun, though. Mm -hmm. So if you buy a 19 uh, like this one, then obviously, you know, it's going to work for a 19. Uh, they are available for a lot of different guns. So you can save yourself a lot of money on ammunition and still get some reasonably good training in. Um, and hey, if maybe the weather's bad and you want to work on trigger presses or presentation, uh, great way to do so. Man, right now everybody's singing the ammo blues, baby. Yes. Good lord. Absolutely. Here, we'll put it back in there. What so, a neat system. It's different, man. It's different. I think this would just be something cool to show off and, you know, maybe this will help a lot of people that are looking to, uh, you know, do some training but not, you know, have to break the bank on the ammunition. I mean, right now ammo is just such a, uh, A hard thing to get right now and expensive hmm. so we just get this guy charged up and we can train mm -hmm. yeah. I mean in conjunction <clears throat> with your holster your presentation you know looking at it from a holistic view of drawing and shooting and mag changes uh, with the overrides and all I think it's a pretty handy piece of kit mm -hmm. something neat to check out very here try one more mag try one more uh, let's see yep yeah that is neat that you can run the magazines with the fall and it should there. pick up on a shot timer that mm -hmm. sort of stuff you can try you know buy your splits I mean it's making no noise it's not like a BB gun top or something that's real loud. So you could you could train at midnight, wouldn't matter. Yep. Very cool. Yep. And just recharge it. My wife will be hearing this in like the middle of the night. Oh yeah. <laughs> what the hell is that? What is it? Ha! Now you do get a pop when you fill it. Just so you notice that there. Try one more time here. Uh oh. Yep. Definitely like about a mag or so. Yeah. But I'd say that's some good training value. Uh, I, I think that the value you get for the amount of money expenditure, especially compared to a lot of ammunition, certainly a good thing. And then when you can you, you uh, combine that with the fact that you may not always be able to get out and train or get out to the real range. Interesting piece of kit. And then uh, to you know put the condition of the gun back into a live pistol, uh, basically, we would just make sure it's empty. Hmm? <laughs> Quite a few resets there. <laughs> okay, we're gonna make sure it's empty. All right, we should be good. Yeah, it's just gotta, it's gotta not reset. All there right, so right there it didn't reset. So now we can just take it apart mm -hmm. and put your real barrel back in. And my don't, fancy recoil spring. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Metal two-stage uh, guide rod assembly. And then we'll get your Glock back together. Has the added benefit of blowing all the dust bunnies out of your gun. It had quite a few. All right, that's it. And then grab your I think followers we've, there. I think we've lowered the temperature in the studio. Maybe a bit. We're just gonna use... Greta's gonna be calling us though, because <laughs> you know, we've raised the temperature of the earth yeah. a little bit. Oh, well, how in the world Here, let me see. Here. See. I use my skinny, my skinny, uh, you know, nail, <laughs> you know, that one long one that I have, you know, there, there we you go. go. And then we can use the other follower here mm -hmm. and just push that out. Yeah. All right. So you pull those out and that gets your mags back to normal. And then you load your live ammo back in 
and it's back in business. And you got your little carry case here. Throw all your stuff in, and that's it. It's just mm -hmm. that simple. Toss that in your range bag. Yep. Really Very cool piece cool. of gear. We thought we'd show it off. Um, with ammo prices being crazy right now, probably something to look into. Uh, you know, we, we just thought we'd show it off. Guys, have a great day. We really appreciate you watching today's video. We hope you enjoyed it. Um, we're always looking at different tech and trying to, you know, come up with really cool ways uh, for people to be able to protect themselves and train. Uh, you know, obviously, we want to keep training costs as reasonable as we can. I mean, money's hard to come by, right? I mean, it's just life is crazy. So if there's a way we can reduce that cost, uh, we certainly are, are interested in finding ways to do so. Have a great day. Make sure you check out our link below. Check out the Cool Fire Trainer. I think you'll enjoy it. Uh, maybe a local FFL maybe might have one that you can try out, possibly. So have a good one. Uh, many more videos on the way. We'll see you soon. See you guys.